What's up everyone, my name is Nigurk. Welcome back to Planet Base. We're gonna load in here. We are on beta 7, not 6 this time. There was a little bit of an update. It shouldn't affect really anything. They just added uh, like one more intruder when you're attacked on the moon planet and stuff like that. I don't, I don't know what planet I'm on. I don't think I'm on the moon planet. So that should be fine. So last time we actually did pretty well. We have 42 people. And, uh, my mines are doing so great that I'm actually going to lower priority so all of this can start going up and we can start getting some more resources. What do you have to trade? You have a semiconductor and also a constructor bot patent. Um, with a 50% commission. Oh, we are we are like really close to being able to get this. Um, add a few vitro meat, maybe a little bit of starch. Um, you know what? I I don't even have the thing built yet. So for right now, I'm just gonna dismiss it. But what I am gonna do is I'm going to set this up so we can get a bot workshop over here. Yep, I am gonna start letting a bot workshop happen. That'll be super, super cool. Do we have any guns stored in here? We do not. Mr. Security guy is pretty sleepy. That was really close. And I also looked at the, uh, there's a forum post for what Beta 8 is going to be. And one of the things is meteors can only destroy one structure at a time to prevent crazy pathfinding. So what happened here will never happen again after Beta 8. So that is something that is really, really good. I think I'm going to fill up all of this. Oh, hey, colonists. Okay. We should get a pretty good amount of people here. Three, I think. No, only one. Probably just a worker. Yeah, we just got a worker. Taylor but Butza. What a name. Butza. But yeah, I think we're going to fill this up. We have a good amount of bioplastic. And my camera is just going everywhere right now. I know some people wanted me to get more oak trees and, like, pine trees. But, I'm probably not going to, to be entirely honest. I think I'm pretty good on starch right now. I think I'm pretty good. I think I'm gonna get, like, one more medical supply thing, just, just to have it. And then, um, a mushroom thing. Low maintenance. I do like low maintenance. This isn't being looked at. But yeah, right now it's just, uh, we need people to actually be working on things. It is nighttime, and we can look at how my power is doing by clicking on some of these. It's hardly even draining. There's really high wind right now, but, I mean, this is times four right now. My power is doing good. My power is doing so good. Really good. Sandstorm imminent. F5, as I was told. Oh, no, that wasn't the right button. That wasn't the right button. It was this one. What is the hotkey for this? F6. Okay. Alright, so F6. I can start using some hotkeys. Yeah. Because I was doing really bad on that. And my power is, like, barely going down because all my wind turbines are like, Yeah, we got this. We do have a water extractor still trying to go up over here because my water extracting was a little bit not great. Oh, do I have a bot stuck out here? Oh, it's CNT2. He's about to go the way of the dodo. His integrity is like super low. Alright, F6, no alert. Everyone can get on. Get on out of there. Connection has been built, which should be this one over here. So yeah, we got the water extractor going up. That's really nice. And also, I'm going to tack on some more meal makers over here. Also, uh, let's see. The full list of recipes has been added to the help menu. So, rice and beef is pasta. Rice and pork is pasta. Wheat and beef is burger. So that's that's pretty cool. That you can, you can see what they're making now. Like, a lot of options for salad. Just a ton of options for salad. I don't... Do I have rice? I don't know if I have rice or wheat. Oh yeah, I probably yeah I do. Okay, never mind. I get it. I get it. But oh no, wrong, wrong building. I am gonna add on a couple more meal makers. And by a couple, I mean maybe three. 
Yeah. Can I squeeze in a plant here? I can. Look at that plant. Awesome. Uh, just so that they have... They can store up more... More meals. So they aren't having to make them all the time. They can make them in bulk. This is a colonist ship. What are we getting? Uh, 43. We are getting a worker and a biologist. Sounds pretty good to me. Yeah, get that plant over there. Hiding behind the three vending machines. What a great way to do it. So we have 45 people. How's my oxygen doing? Um, 19, 19. I think it is time to start getting the oxygen over here like I was talking about. Because you can see it's spreading, a, spreading around a little bit silly. Uh, let's look at my grid. I can hold 72 people technically. But we don't want to work on technicallys. And getting out here is actually... Build, building out here is taking quite a while because I don't have... Myself built that way yet. So that's actually quite a bit of a trip. So I'm going to try to stop building over here so much. And I might build... This redundancy right here. Just... Just to be a little bit more safe. Let's bring the speed down a bit. I think... Yeah, I think it's oxygen time. Big oxygen. You're not gonna let me get an attach in attachment here, are you? It's not a room that people really need to go in often. So I'm hesitant to put it here. I would like to, like, build one more thing and then put it here. Yeah, I think... Let's see, what room do I want right here? Um, let's build. And I know that people are telling me about, like, intruders and how, uh, it would be good to have the airlock go through the control center. So I think I might do something. Control center. Oxygen. Airlock. Landing. Starport. Something like that. That's what I'm thinking. Right here isn't perfect, because if I get intruders here, they're they're gonna come in here, kill all of these people as this guy is like trying to come over, and he might go into the canteen and the bunks, and that could kill a lot of people. So I'm trying to think about that now because people have brought it up. And I do appreciate it. What if I do a bar? Let's do a bar. A bar here. Look at my supplies. I'm, I'm like not doing great on ore again. Get it? Or 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 again? Or, oh god! Terrible, terrible jokes. Or again? Wow! How did I even? Wow. Um. Let's just see how this can attach the oxygen. Like right here. Kind of sad that I won't be able to attach it to this. That was kind of the intent, is that I would be able to make a redundancy, but this is also a redundancy. I think, yeah, it's gonna be oxygen here. Which I'm not gonna place yet, but oxygen here. That's calling a ship, I can ignore that for now. Let's just look at how many we get. And then a control center, like here. And then an, an uh, airlock here. We got two more people. It looks like a, an engineer and a biologist. Which is pretty good. Uh, we, we have tons of beds. I don't know why people are like super sleepy. I think at this point though, I'm going to stop letting in, oh no, wrong, wrong one. Stop letting in colonists. Just to make sure that we even things out properly. I don't, I don't want to get to the point where I'm like losing oxygen everywhere and all of that. But I do think the bar is going to be cool. I might even... Got a little workout area over here. I might add like a little... Spruce this place up a little bit. I can't get anything else in there. It's too small. And also I can start looking at the anti-meteor laser. If I get more semiconductors. Our spares are doing really good. In fact, I think I might make it so spares have no limit. 
Eh, 50 is actually really good. Let's do 60. 60 sounds fine. We do have the bot workshop. I just need the actual semiconductor here. I don't have the patent for the constructor or the driller bot, but I do have carrier bot, which will help. Carrier bots will certainly help. This is getting fixed up. Also, one of the patch notes um, in the future is that uh, very damaged structures will tend to be repaired before less, less damaged structures, because I guess they weren't prioritized before, and now they will be. I think we need to bump up priority over here. Because it's kind of silly to have this just draining power and like not actually doing anything. Man, I can get like a triple redundancy on that thing. I'm not going to, but I could. Our vitro meat is going down, but our veggies are going up. This got fixed up. Uh, CN2, CNT2 irreversibly damaged. Rest in peace, CNT2. You were the hero bot. You saved me from utter destruction. Ah, uh, man. You were a god. And now, rest in peace. Rip CNT2. You will be remembered. Wow, we have a lot of starch here. Like, a lot. Actually, um... Now, now that I'm looking at it, what if I had a control center here and then an airlock over here instead of having it over here? Would that work better? Would that look cooler? I think that might look cooler. I think that might be like super ballin'. Because I could have it here and the airlock could come out here, but I'm going to be expanding this way. And having the airlock there would really, really let me expand way easier that way. Also, do I have a cap on medical supplies? Let me... F7. F7 is medical supplies. I do not. Those are going to be really good for trading. I do see some of my power is actually going out. But we still have two, two things. Two things doing good. What are you waiting on? Three metal. Yeah. Um, I don't have the worker count to fill this up constantly. Which is kind of where I'm running into issues. It's kind of where I'm running into issues right now. Is that I just don't have the worker count to constantly be making metals and mining. Because I see this one is filled up. Standing reached? What is this? Oh, crap. I have a lot of prestige, don't I? I'm not sure I want that. Yeah, let me look at my prestige really quick. Um... Chart? No. Stats? Yeah, 101 prestige. It's like Dalmatians, but cooler. Hmm. So, I currently have... I think one guard with a gun. I think I have a guard with a gun. I don't know how to tell if they have a gun. But that is actually kind of concerning that I have 101 prestige. I think bad things might start happening. And I actually saw a screenshot on the base building subreddit of someone that got invaded by colonists. Or invaded by intruders and uh, they lost I think 20 people. Which is nuts. Absolutely nuts. Power should be charging back up. Yeah, you should be good. You guys should be super, super good. But yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do, is I'm going to have... This is like... This is like what I need. Um, a control center here. And I might even... Because this is here and I have things set up so that I could like attach here and attach here I might actually deconstruct Yeah, you can't attach there. I might deconstruct this and have these things all connected together so that there is redundancy and Then just throw it over here because it's a better spot 
And then I could even disable the security console for now and build a new one over here. I think that would be good. I think I might do that. That actually sounds like super good. Because that's gonna like save me from just terrible things happening to me. But we can get the control center there. And now I'm going to build the oxygen thing over here. This is a trading ship. This one I'm actually looking forward to because I actually have a good amount of medical supplies actually. You like how many actuallys I have in there? Because I said actually a lot. Oh hello. Two constructor bots and a driller bot. Let's go for the driller bot. Wow. I actually have quite a bit of stuff. Can I tack on another one of these guys? My people aren't getting hurt that much, I, but I think I want to still keep a little bit of stock. I have a good amount of starch. Maybe? Does this look fine? I think that actually looks really good. Having another constructor bot and a driller bot is going to help me a ton. There. Did it. I did it. You like that? I'm finally getting the bots that you've been begging me for. Absolutely begging me for. And because of that, I'm actually going to turn off the bot workshop just to make sure it doesn't start taking semiconductors because I would like those for guns. Because I'm getting to the point where I'm actually kind of concerned about intruders. I only have... Oh, well, I have four guards. Okay. That's pretty good, actually. And I would like to build the connection there, so these things will start getting a little bit more oxygen over here. And I'll probably, even if I have to, build like another over here, just to help even out this side. Yeah, things are looking pretty good. My water grid is fine. Actually, let's look at grids really quick. Was it F8, F5, F4? F4 is grids. Yeah, oxygen is doing alright. We're about to expand that a bit. Water, we aren't at 50% yet. Power is always interesting because it's hard to tell. Always interesting. When it turns to night, I'm a little bit low, but that's because wind kind of sucks right now. Yeah, wind kind of sucks. I'm, I might, after I get the driller bot working and all that, I might get... Oh, they're still trading stuff. I might get another couple of wind things when I have the metal for it. I don't think I currently have enough biologists as proven by my poor pads that are doing dreadfully. Uh, so it might be time to let in more people. F6, F5, F5 is colonists and landing permissions. I am terrified though purely because of the intruder possibility. That's why I'm so scared of doing that. And actually, I think I'm gonna wait. I think I'm gonna wait until I get my, um, my thing set up how I have it planned over here. I think I'm gonna wait for that. And this will be an airlock over here. Like this? Yeah, because it'll make it easier to expand to. So an airlock there, and then outside it will be either a starport or a landing pad. In fact, I'll do- I'll just do a landing pad right here. Actually. If I do it right here, bad things could happen. Okay, let's- let's recycle this. Let's think about this. I- I definitely want them to path through here. They always go the shortest route. So if I have it over here, I'm risking them coming in here, which I do not want. So if I have it, if I have it right here, like this, and then I build the landing pad, say, here, then they will absolutely go through here. Yeah, I think that's way better. And then I can expand up and out like that, and that'll be totally fine. Cool, we're fast forwarding. 
Mines are still up on priority. We do have two driller bots. And drilling their hearts away. Power is a little bit concerning still, but we do still have two batteries. I don't think they're charging up all the way during the day though. I don't think I've had enough wind power for that. And also they're they're losing power fast because there's no wind right now at night. So the next one to lose it should be this one up here, yeah. But it's turning day and we still have all of this and this power collector. So yeah. Once I do all of this crazy expandy stuff, I will work on more wind power. How's my control center going? Yeah, I think... I think that's gonna be what I'm gonna do. This one will just be... I wish I could, like, make this one only traders so I could keep it. I think that'd be really cool, being able to dedicate, like, what I want per thing. I'm not sure if that's a possibility. Alright, that's getting built up by my CNT-6. The spiritual successor to CNT-2. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a connection here. And also a connection here. Actually, can you two connect? You cannot. That's the only thing I'm concerned about is losing all of these connections. But it's still kind of fine. Storage has no oxygen. Oh, it's because I built this and they're like equalizing right now. Don't worry. They're just equalizing. Trading ship. I probably don't have enough to trade for anything on here, but maybe. We'll have to see. I said trading ship like I'm surprised. I've, I'm only allowing trading ships. A gun. I think I want a gun. But I don't think I want to trade for it, to be entirely honest. My supplies are kind of low. My supplies are a little bit low. Power, you better be charging up way, way, way more than you are. We need wind. And this is also why I am building the oxygen generator out here. Hopefully this airlock gets built soon so they can start going through instead of around. They're repairing something or building something. I hear it. They are repairing stuff, okay. And then this needs to be built. We are pretty low on metal. It's also because I'm having them work on the mine so much. Let's actually just have one of you increased priority. Just one. Yeah. No con control center has no oxygen. Yeah, because it just got built. Jeez. Give me a break. Alright, so you are going out, Mr. CNT6? Yeah, CNT6. You're dropping off some things. This is going to be our oxygen generator. And now they can gladly go through all of this this stuff to get in and out, thankfully. I finally built the airlock that I was talking about. Man, we are we are expanding actually kind of quick, in my opinion. But yeah, just having one of these increased priority I think is good. It's hard to have all of my workers doing everything. And I still don't understand why people are so sleepy. Like I have tons of beds and they are not all being used. I don't know what's up with that. I think sleepiness is just something that it pops up really quick. Medicinal plants. Nice. We still have two labs, or workbenches, so my my medics can work on all of that stuff pretty easily. So control center, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a security a couple of security consoles in here yeah so there's gonna be a couple security consoles in there this one is actually gonna get recycled 
Yep, sorry bud, you just lost your job. Don't worry, you'll be hired again in just a second. Let's do one more in there. So all of our guards will have a spot to work in here. So when intruders come in, they are going to have to face our guards immediately. Immediately. That is, that is such a brilliant idea. I'm so glad people told me about that. Let's recycle this connection. We'll get that back. Can we recycle these? Yeah, let's recycle that. I'm not allowed to recycle that one. There we go. Tons of metal we just got back. That's going to help us, you know, build our other other thing. Um, and we will have a redundancy here. Because I just realized that all of this is on this one connection now. And that's a no good. Is there anything that I can build here, like, that'll fit? I don't think there is. Um, maybe, maybe an outdoor thing, maybe a wind turbine? If I just wiggle this around enough? Come on, wiggle it around enough. No, I... And maybe it's because there's stuff there. If I just wait, maybe I'll be able to do that in the future. I might just have to play the waiting game on that one. How's our oxygen generator? Actually, you know what? This is a perfect spot. This is a great spot. I'm expanding really well. I'm up to 47 colonists. I have a lot of stuff being built. I think that's a good spot to wrap it up. Anyways, my name is Nagark. This is Planet Base, and thank you for watching.